is the Manchester Skate Park. It got built probably like two summers ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've come here pretty much every day I can since then. It's pretty epic, it's a really nice park. This park's a really great thing for the community. I know tons of, tons of local kids who come here. I come to the skate park all the time and I see these little kids and I've watched them for progress from not being able to skate at all to being able to do a bunch of tricks and it's really awesome. And I'm really lucky to live in Manchester that has this great park. And I know lots of kids live in these small surrounding towns and I wanted to help with that so they don't have to drive here or if they can't get a ride here, not even skate at all. So my original idea was I wanted to acquire a piece of already concrete or asphalt ground like this and then just build a DIY skate park on it. So I started reaching out to a bunch of people about different potential locations and this is the Arlington Blue Banks. It's used for an ice rink in the winter time but I thought they didn't use it anymore in the winter but apparently they do, so this spot didn't really work out. So the guy I reached out to about the blue banks was actually really open to the idea and he actually recommended this area, which is also in Arlington, and it's, it's literally just like the end of a parking lot. And there's a sign that says, designated for skateboarding, rollerblading, biking, and scootering. But it's literally just flat ground, so I don't know why anyone would want to skate here. Uh -huh. And I was emailing him back and forth, and he seemed like he was really open to the idea of me building a park here. And then he stopped responding to my emails for like a couple weeks. So I finally called him, and I was like, Yo, just to verify, I can build, I can start building the park here once I gather the materials. And then he, he didn't answer, I left him that message. And then he calls me back and he says, oh, I just don't think it's going to work out. There's just too much liability stuff and paperwork we'd have to fill out. Which was really annoying because the way his emails were written made it seem like he was down for the idea and that it was going to happen. And that was really frustrating because this was the most promising of all the spots. These are some basketball courts that are at the Swiss Inn Motel, which is in Londonderry. Um, it's owned by Stratton and they use it to house employees. And I reached out, asked if I could use this basketball court to build a DIY park on, and they just shut me down pretty quickly, just said no right off the bat. So that was really disappointing because I just drove by this thought it looked like a good spot, but I didn't have my hopes up too high. Right now I'm at Pingree Park in Londonderry. It's basically just the town's rec park. They have tennis courts, baseball fields, basketball courts, a playground, pretty much anything you could ask for. And when I first proposed my idea to my class about building a DIY skate park, like three people recommended this location because apparently Back in the day, they used to have a ramp right here in this flat area behind me. So I reached out to some people and they actually invited me to go to one of the parks, park board meetings at the town of Londonderry. So I made this proposal, but this was all going off that there was gonna be a big flat concrete area for me to build my park on because I hadn't actually visited here yet and that's what people had told me. But luckily, right before the meeting, I came here to actually check it out and I realized that it had just been a ramp on grass. So I kind of switched up my um, proposal and I kind of just talked about how 
beneficial the park in Manchester has been and how good it's been for the community and all the kids. And they all seemed to really buy the idea and it was great. And they actually passed to bring in a, an engineer to look at the area and see whether or not building an actual skate park is feasible here. And I mean, this is different than my original idea because I'm not gonna have like a finished product. I'm not gonna have like a DIY skate park and be like, here's my project, I built a skate park. But if it works out and they pass to build a skate park here, I know a ton of people who would be willing to help raise money and fundraise and plan it out and it could be really great. It would be even better than if I had built a DIY if they have an actual skate park here. So I know there's not going to be a skate park here anytime soon, but what I did was I kind of just kicked off the process and got them thinking about it, and that's the first step. So I'm actually going to attend another board meeting on June 1st, and hopefully I'll see if they've made any progress on the idea or what the engineer said and we can go from there and I'm just hoping I can make this happen and there'll be a park here sometime in the next couple years. I mean that would be a success in my book.